right, so I'm in the midst of the M5 detailing series. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I think, in between here, largely because I'm gonna be a little behind getting stuff done on the M5 versus the daily videos that I like to try to do. And so I'm gonna sprinkle in some of the new products that I'm adding to the store, uh, which nothing's new to the world, but new to creating the package systems uh, that I've uh, been building out. This will be a product that will be added to the polishing package. Um, but this is something I discovered on my visit to Meguiar's, which I was super excited about. Really simple, you don't need gallons of this. You'll probably buy this and use this bottle for the rest of your life. But this is uh, from the Mirglaze line. It's called Professional Heavy Duty Vinyl, uh, vi Heavy Duty Vinyl Cleaner. I just call it number 39. Uh, the 39 doesn't mean anything, it's just a number. Uh, I thought maybe there was some sort of chronological order to the numbers, but there aren't. So this product is for when, and it's timely with the M5, it's for when you screw up and you didn't tape something off and you get uh, some something on the, on the plastics, the plastic trim or the rubber trim. So uh, I'm gonna be releasing M101, uh, which is gonna be the more aggressive version of, my pol of the polish that I use, a solvent-based polish. Uh, that let's say you were hitting hitting the front bumper and there was some rubber or some plastic trim like the GT3 has tons of trim uh, that's plastic like that and you got some on there uh, you know people have said use pencil erasers or use um, uh, use something like uh, a peanut butter to break it down or Vaseline and none of that stuff really is a great solution I just wanted something I can spray on agitate and get it off and so the story goes like this. Um, I'm standing there with Marcus, Nick, and Stephanie from, uh, from, from McGuire's, and I wanted to go through everything. Tell me, take me through the whole line. So I was there for two, two days. Take me through the whole line. What am I missing? Uh, and this was the most glaring, like the, this was the simplest, least necessary, but product that I was most excited about because it was something that I didn't know anything about and have always been looking for some solution for this. Uh, now it's still not perfect, you still need to work at it. So I, I would suggest having like, a, I use a toothbrush, but I just grab a toothbrush and you work out all like the little cracks and crevices in the black areas that you get uh, on either rubber or plastic, porous rubber or plastic trim, you can use this to clean that. You can use this for pretty much any rubber or plastic surface. I also use this when I'm prepping for a coating around like rubber trim around the windows or seals. I'm probably gonna use this on the, 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 the door jam areas. I'll show you some of the areas of the car where, where I'll probably end up using this product. Uh, and then what I find, there isn't a lot of residue left, uh, but what I'll generally do is follow with ice, IPA, if I, isopropyl alcohol or, car, or car pro eraser if I was gonna coat it. Um, but I use this on engine bays and a bunch of different areas where you have something that's heavily soiled, that's rubber or plastic, uh, and, and with the main focus around if you end up with, um, uh, with some polish left over. This is the only product I've found that removes it. Uh, so this is something that I'm gonna add to my polishing line, uh, but it's a product that I think deserves a spot on everyone's shelf, and it's not particularly expensive, and this will last you a really long time. So let me show you a couple of spots where this might make sense. So here's a common problem area. You have the, the, the B pillars here. And so I'm gonna tape this off, but oftentimes the tape, I won't quite, I'll miss it. I'll, I'll, I'll carry the edge a little too far off the rubber. So this is an area where I'm polishing or around the trim of the window where I may end up with some polish residue left over. Uh, and that's an area where this product comes in handy to clean that up prior to me hitting it with any kind of trim coating. Uh, another area, uh, now I'm gonna be replacing this, but notice this, this black plastic trim here. This is a spot where if you got polish on there, it's not coming off. And this is kind of faded and beat up. But this is an area where I would spray this product on, let it sit, uh, I'd agitate it with a, with a, uh, with a toothbrush, uh, and then deep clean it. Uh, and, and it tends to work well. And I use these towels here. So I use my multi-purpose towels that I, what I call my beater towels. Uh, that I'll, a lot of times I'll take and clean up, agitate the product, and clean up the surface. This might actually clean this up a little bit here, as it was looking a little faded. Now, I don't think this adds any kind of protection or any kind of 
um, doesn't really leave anything behind. Uh, at least not not a whole. It doesn't leave any kind of protection behind. So you're still going to want to follow. Wow, that actually cleaned it up really well. That was all faded and kind of funky looking. And so this in combination with a product like Solution Finish, if you really needed to restore plastic, so this would give you a good deep cleaning first, uh, remove polish, uh, oils, polish that's embedded in this plastic. Uh, and so this would be a classic area that I would use it. You can also use it on, if you're doing, if you're a person who likes to take the wheels off and clean the wheel wells, that's another place that's good for it uh, or good to use it. So on this car, I'll probably end up using it to clean up this because it looks kind of kind of splotchy, if that's a word. Just spray a little on my towel and use it to clean up the top of the door jams here. And this is something I see all the time. And so, although this doesn't have any ill effect on the performance of the car or how it looks ex from an exterior perspective, but I just want to make sure I'm cleaning up these kind of rubber plastic areas that I see every time I open up the door. And again, it's not a life changing, remarkable difference, but it's a product that we need, I think, in the bag to clean stuff like this. Uh, where else would I use it? Oh, this would be a classic area that I might hit when I'm polishing. If I don't tape this properly, or if you forget to tape something like this, this kind of porous plastic, he'll stain with polish. You know, it'll look white. And then this, that's where a toothbrush and agitation in this product will work really well. So something I think is important to add to the line, uh, it's a relatively inexpensive, buy one, put it in your uh, cabinet and use it for, like for instance, this M5 project, I'm sure I'll break out this several times in the process of uh, you know caring for and restoring this M5 up to OG spec. So anyway, in the OG store and uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll buy some from me instead of uh, somewhere else and uh, hopefully honor the source. But anyway, thanks for watching. More products coming. M5. I'll be working through the project here. Uh, if, you, um, if you're watching this uh, 10 years from now in the future, make sure to go check out the M5 project where I really dig deep into getting this thing uh, up to my standard. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy.